Well, fires that one into the dog zone. Brammer is there. Can't clear. Loose in front. Antonov with a chance. And Antonov shovels it home. No idea how that one's gone in. But Vanya Antonov opens the scoring 10.55 with his 11th goal of the year. And yeah. I think it's an own goal, actually. Antonov able to go to bring it down. I think it's Ben Morgan's just poked it past. Back to Kirk. Bissonette, fans on that pass. Balaz collects, loses it for Morris, who loses it. Centre ice, Balaz there to clean up, take it away from Hewitt. Marcel Balaz farms the chance, and Marcel Balaz rips one home short handed. The Bees double their leads. Well, definitely, fortunately, 15 0 6, time and a goal. And Marcel Balaz is 32nd of the year. Marcel Balaz is able to muscle out two Steel Dogs, finds an opportunity and fires it under the blocker as the Mosdra. And coming from what looks a fairly. Yeah. Finds Bissonet in the neutral zone. And the spurt. Down low Phillips. Bissonet in front, chance, and that's shoveled home, and the dogs come out the blocks firing. Power play marker 2030. Well, let's see who it is. I think it's James Spur with the goal on that one. Well, it's just the game. There's nobody in front of the goalie. There's nobody in front of the goalie. Who cares? <laughs> yeah, that's Spurs. Eh? Good work for Bissonet behind the goal. Season pinching in. Spur able to get that through the ball. Spur with it, takes the hit. Loses the puck, Mock tries to get it away, finds the American with the tally. Sees a return pass, Janet Tommy into the zone, uses Morgan as a screen, then decides to fire it off his leg anyway. Spur the other way, three on three chance, Bissonette draws the man out of position, Bissonette to the front of the net, and Matt Bissonette, that is fantastic from the Canadian. He gets his 18th of the year, and we are all tied up 25 29, time and a goal. It's an unusually exuberant acceleration from Biz, but uh, I think it's a goal that deserves it. So, uh, this replay. Yeah, nice little like, five hole uh, backhand. It's lovely work to get around Morris. As Morris says, five have been ruthless. Stead up the left wing, got room to work. Backhand's one across goal. As Morris well sticks to the side, finds Bradley. Bradley shot through traffic! And as quick as we tie the game up, Ed Bradley re-establishes the B's lead, 25-40, his third on since his return. Sensing there must have been a deflection on that, or...? Just, Just that Zemozra didn't see it. Lost it in a sea of bodies. Snapped over the glove. From Balaz, but it's gone wider than that. Morgan there to clean up the damage. Bissonette finds the outlet. And receives a return pass. Matt Bissonette the other way. Matt Bissonette. Brilliant. Whoa, Matt Bissonette! I mean, I know it's not his Twitter handle, but that was very biznasty. 31 <laughs> 21. The dogs tie the game up once more with a goal from one end to the other. And he takes the water bottle with him. And if you think that he essentially started, I think pretty much from his own red line to get there. The despairing dive. Hands off on the blue line to Trump Balaz off the side of the cage. Turnover once more. Goodbye. Steps around one. Dom goodbye. With the chance in front. Slides it across to Balaz! Lovely work from the Slovak connection as goodbye weaves his way through the defence. And Marcel Balaz is able to fire it back across to Mosdra. 41 minutes exactly, and Balaz is 33rd of the year. So the uh, accuracy of that pass when he was uh, halfway down is uh, admirable. And having uh, shrugged off the attentions of uh, several in white and orange to get there in the first place. I believe there's a conversation going on here. I think it's going to come from the replay. Possibly man in the crease. Nick, can we just rewheel that quick? The thing I even hear is, is it Antonov impeding Zamozdra, or is it the D-man? 
This one could be coming back. We'll wait and see what the officials say. Goal given. Shot comes in from Morris. Loose in front. And it's bundled over the line. Waved. Knows it waved off. Pointed out the goal. Bit of confusion there for the ref. I think that's a goal. 54 58. Pats on the ice. And I think Marcel Ballas has just got the fifth of the night and his 34th of the year. Ballas from the goal line, yep, shoveled over the line. I'm not going to say the. Work, move away to man of the match. For the visitors, the Sheffield Steel Dogs, who uh, are the lucky winners of an empty cardboard box, as always, for man of the match. Is it an empty cardboard box from, box from the brewery? Yes. Okay. Yes, it is. We give you the empty box now because the full one is already there. Uh, Man of Match for the Steel Dogs does go to Matt Bissonette. Rapidly the human highlight reel on this team. Two very nice finishes for his goals and Rob was falling in from all night. One of the best imports in this league. As the Steel Dogs go for their lap of honour. That is the second and last time the Dogs make the trip to Slough this year. So I wish you a well for the rest of the season. I hope you enjoy the last two months of hockey for the year. And hopefully, maybe, possibly, a sneaky playoff run. If not, Coventry's at the end of April. It's always a fun weekend. And obviously, don't forget that the Bees are up in Sheffield tomorrow, 4.30. Before Christmas on the trip on the coach back home that night. So man of the match for the bees tonight. Probably a few contenders, Stuart Mog, Vanya Antonov in there. But it is going to Marcel Balaz on a night where he reached 70 points, breaking the record he had with the bison last year of 66, and a hat trick. Coming up in the clutch there in the third period. A big performance from the Slovak. And also a fan favourite with the fans <laughs> as well. <laughs> so he has to sign a cap and give it to a lucky fan in the crowd. This has uh, usually been a theme for the year of can you clear the ice or can you not? Sometimes it's really easy and others have found it really hard. <laughs> oh, and he's already dropped it oh. on the floor. That's why he's not a netminder. One Marcel Ballas signed hat. Will he clear the plexi? Yes, hey. he does. With a plan. So the bees are on the road up in Sheffield tomorrow. 4.30 face off. Stream, I'm just going to say four o'clock because it'll definitely be on by then. Yeah, probably <laughs> live from about 20 past. So, yes, please do join us if you're uh, not making the fairly lengthy trip on a Sunday. Well, it's a lengthy trip at any time, but particularly on a Sunday. Yeah. Yep, Roger, thank you for coming down and doing this with me tonight. Thank you for having me. Always a pleasure. And the bees are back at home next Saturday where we welcome our friends from north of the border. The Solway Sharks are back in town for the second time this season. 6.30 face-off. That is here in the hangar. 5.45 live on stream if you can't join us. But please make your way down here for our Saturday night. As the Bees skate off tonight with two points in this big playoff battle. They go again tomorrow night. And producer Nick, punch it, Chewy. As we are welcome, the Peterborough fans